Hey! Welcome everyone. How are you doing today? How's the glare look on the camera, hun? Is there any glare? Let me shut the door and then I'll tell you. Ah, she's going to shut the door. Welcome everyone to Sunday Seascapes. Ooh, that's got to be a bit brighter. It has to be. No, I'll move the canvas. There we go. Uh, welcome to Sunday Seascapes and Paint with Josh. I'm Paint with Josh. I've been painting for about three years now. Well, more than three years now. And uh, this actually will be painting number 583. So, you are lucky. You have found the right spot. All right, we're going to be doing today a Puerto Rican flag seascape. So, it's not going to be a perfect flag. We're going to do a seascape that's going to give you the impression of a flag, right? Amy Measle likes to shake. So, what we're doing right now is covering the canvas with our Bob Ross Liquid Clear. And then once we've covered that off, we're going to wipe it off. We're going to take the tape off. We're going to rock and roll. So I didn't get enough on my brush. You don't need a whole lot. There we go. And remember, if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video, tell us where you're from, what time it is, and uh, what were you just doing before you got the Paint With Josh notification? Were you waiting? Were you like, oh, Paint With Josh is gonna be on any minute. We gotta get ready. So, and what's your favorite sandwich? We always like to ask that. And while you guys are answering those questions, we're gonna finish Making the canvas wet and slick, and then we're going to be ready to go. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. You can see it start to go real black, and that's when you know it's nice and wet and uniform. And we've got enough clear on the canvas that we can go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, making sure it's all even, right? Do we have any comments, babe? Where are people watching from? Who do we got with us today? Yeah. London's here to read your comments, by the way. My gorgeous wife, London, read out all your comments so we can answer in real time any questions you might have. Get that tape back over there. So go ahead, hun. Michelle Rose, Susan Braham, Joanna Wadsworth from upstate New York, Christian Woodsy is watching. Hey, hey. Uh, Welcome, guys. guys. Over on YouTube, we've got Cheryl. Got Cheryl. Any Super Squad members? Cheryl. Cheryl. Cheryl is a Super Squad member. Yeah, what happened to the point? It's okay. We don't need that point. Okay. We just need this point on the inside. And very good, lightly, very lightly wipe away. Joanna Wadsworth is a first timer. Hey, first time watcher. Well, we do Bob Ross style, kind of wet on wet paintings, but Paint with Josh has his own style, and uh, you're in luck because we're about to do a really cool flag painting. I don't know if you can see any of the other flag paintings that we have around here, but I'm sort of known for putting a, a seascape to a flag, so. Stick with us, right? And we're going to get zoomed in a little bit more and uh, really get close for you guys. I'm going to take off this little painted star. That's going to be our little cloud in the sky. Fantastic. We're going to take off our tape right here. Bam, bam, bam. Get it stuck everywhere. And now, is there tape on the back? Nope, we got it. All right. Now, we're going to cover our... Well, first, we're going to wash this brush. Now we use odorless mineral spirits by a company called Jasco or Clean Strip. You want to get the odorless stuff, it'll still stink a little bit, but trust me, it's not as bad as the other stuff, right? So into the cup, shake it off, into a trash can like Taylor Swift. Or did she say shake it up? Did you shake it up or shake it off? Shake it off. No, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. And then dab it off on a paper towel. Now. David Jackson is watching from Steens, Mississippi. There's no white line or anything on the on the flag that we're filling in, right? No. It's okay. Just blue, red, and then white stripes. All right. Let's go through the colors that we have. Uh, sorry. Go ahead, honey. What were you saying? Uh, Eva is watching from Copenhagen. In Denmark. Wow. Denmark. That's awesome. Uh, Linda West is watching from Missouri. Louisa Baldwin is here. Louisa, I saw your British flag painting. It turned out excellently. So let's go through the colors. Uh, bright red, phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, titanium white. Just five colors, all we're gonna need. Gonna take a little bit of the blue while London continues. A bit of the blue. That's it. Oh. We're gonna cover our little blue, our dark area over here. Trying not to get too much blue outside of the lines. And maybe we should have left our star first before we tried to- Stick it back on. Stick cover it. Stick it back on. It's all right, we don't need it. There we go. Sandy Stray Lowe is watching from North Dakota. Hey, North Dakota. Do I have a sale in North? I don't think I have. I think I do, actually. I have maybe one or two sales for uh, paintings in North Dakota. Connie Dita so says, love, love, love your flag seascapes. Thank you so much. It's all London's idea. All London. 
There we go. A little bit of blue into our sky. And then what we're going to do is take the smallest, that's even too much, the littlest bit of white on our brush, right? Just the smallest little touch because the white will go real far, right? We dabbed it in that way. It's not too bright. And then we can come up here and just work in a little bit brighter blue. We could have done it beforehand, but I like having differences, right? It doesn't all have to be exactly the same. Corey Becker is watching from Dakota, North Dakota. South hey, hey, South Dakota. from South one of the Dakotas. One of the Dakotas, North Dakota. There we go. A little bit of that light, uh, the white will bring that blue to life. And you don't want it to be so super bright, but I don't want it to be so dark that it looks black either, right? How's that look, babe? Joanna Woodsworth says her good. best sandwich is peanut butter and banana. Ooh, that's a sweet sandwich. All right, that looks cool to me. We're gonna wash this brush off again. I always think it's over there because that's what I'm used to. We got this brand new easel from Cheryl. Oh, speaking of brand new stuff. Yeah, babe. What are we doing? No idea. So, uh, London usually gets the notifications and knows what's coming and who's sending what. So who sent the half one, babe? That would be Julie Strop. Julie Strop, thank you for this Bob Ross half round brush. I'm not sure that we're gonna use it for today's painting, but I'm going to use it, that's for sure. Look at that, brand new, mm, mwah. oh, it's so gorgeous. Woo, nice and soft, I love it, thank you. It's going right onto the table. But we don't know who sent the new two inch brush. Can anyone cop to this one? Who sent the new two inch brush? I love you, and uh, I need it for sure but I don't know who sent it. They didn't tell London who sent it. So thank you, whoever you are. Hopefully we'll find you during the show and be able to thank you properly. All right, now that we've got our blue off of the brush, it's sort of still wet because we just washed it. So dab it on a paper towel. And now we're gonna come in with our red and our crimson together. You don't wanna have just one color. I like having the crimson makes it this deep dark red, which will help as you're going over it with your white it's gonna to wanna to turn pink, right? So let's go our red stripe at the top. Tyree Jones is watching from West Virginia. West Virginia? Uh, I had a lot of sales in West Virginia. I'm sure Linda, you've been to someone's house who has my art in West Linda Virginia. Linda Spangler is watching from West Virginia as well. Welcome. What we're gonna do is just take, try to get a little bit of this clear onto our empty section because otherwise it's gonna be so, 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 so bright. Linda West asks, are you in London? No, we are in Las Vegas. But my wife's name is London. <laughs> so you may be confused. There we go. Fill in those empty spaces just with a little bit of clear. Try not to touch our blue too much. But we want that clear on the canvas so we can work it. Right? Gotta work it. Work S it, baby. Susan what, what am I doing? in West Virginia, too. I have about 40, 40 paintings that live in West Virginia. I'm not even kidding. Tara Kelly is watching from Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, New York. Is it New York? I don't it's know. Canada. Canada. All right, on the other side. I don't even know. Never been to Niagara Falls. I've seen it on TV. All right, let's go back into our red. Eroding. Eroding. <laughs> That's my only bit of Niagara Falls that I know. All right, the, the, the stripes in this flag are much bigger than the other stripes we've done because there's only six stripes or seven stripes, right? You got red, white, red, white, red. Five, so there's five stripes. So they can be a little bit thicker than the other ones. And again, I've never done this before. Some of the times we practice a painting before, like the British flag, I had to practice because if I didn't practice it and I messed it up, London would have just- been divorced. Oh, London would have killed me. Uh, Gina says, are you sitting down now instead of sanding? I am. I'm sitting because we... How can you fall off the stage? I know. <laughs> it's going to be hard to fall off the stage while sitting. I agree. I agree. Uh, Carmen says, oh my goodness, thank you so much, Andy Kleiss, for 500 stars. Hey, Andy. Uh, We're Carmen... doing this because of Hurricane Fiona. It ran through Puerto Rico and really tore it up good. So we wanted to show our our support and uh you mean tore it up bad well tore yeah well that's what hurricanes do um, if they, you know carmen is here from puerto rico living in san antonio love all your paintings thank you so much i hope we do a good job on this one for you let's see just trying to make them even really perspectively right and we're gonna drop them in again it's not a perfect flag it's a seascape it's an ocean painting it's an expressionist it's not a flag. 
100 percent right and take a little bit more of the crimson which is the darker reds so we're going to work it down into here so we can cover over just the tip top of it with some white it's gonna be fantastic again we're painting a landscape not a flag it's going to resemble the flag when we get done but it's not a perfect thing more red or crimson more bright red not a perfect thing remember everybody always messages me our flag doesn't look like that well uh you know i didn't paint the flag i painted an ocean scene oh, and the yeah. ocean scene kind of looks like your flag a little bit well yesterday with the union jack yeah that's what i mean yeah, like an individual said i'm from the uk and that's not my flag yeah that's not my flag i'm like well, yeah, i too a... am from the uk and i understand expressionist optism there we go Linda often says Ian may very well hit my area in Florida. I guess there is another hurricane. I'm not oh, aware of no. that. So I am going to look it up right now. Let's put a little bit of red just on the edges so it looks like it's finished. There we go. A little bit on the top, might as well. And we got our blue kind of triangle over here. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see if we can't work some of this blue back into that triangle and wipe our brush off each time because we don't want to take too much. There we go. I'm going to have too much blue in there or too much red and start making purple. There we go. Does that resemble the flag? Yes. That looks pretty good. It does. All right, let's clean this off. Can you turn that fan on just low, honey? It's really warm in here. Start to sweat. That's how I get my workout. I just come up here and paint, sweat it out. Okay. Yeah. I'm here to you. What's up? Right here. Goes up to corner to corner. Just saying. So you know. What does? Okay. Okay. That's okay. I'm just letting you know. It's okay. It's not a perfect thing. No, no. Uh, like I tell people, we are painting a landscape that's going to resemble a flag. Nothing more. Linda West says, I want to paint like you as well. Thank you. Well, watch the videos and uh, you can definitely learn. There we go. Perfect. Just trying to put a little bit of red in there because I don't want the clouds to be so super bright. They got to kind of blend with the sky a little. And I don't know why I keep reaching over there to clean my brush. I really don't. Well, yeah, I have it for sure. So, are we zoomed in far enough now that we have our base layers down? I think we should zoom in a little bit more. We'll get a little more in there. Why are you getting up? This is why you have me, the producer. The producer! Yeah, that's looking all right. That's all looking okay. Whoop. Too far. There we go. All right, you want to do the other one? Might as well sit. Whew. It's getting hot, I'm telling you. I thought summertime was over, babe. No, babe. It is warm. Let me tell you. All right. Get paint all over my hat. Let's do it. Okay. First thing I want to do, if I were going to paint an ocean scene that kind of resembled a flag, I want to get that little star in there. So grabbing our white paint, just like that. Remember, it's a cloud. It's not a star. It's a cloud, so we're gonna kind of make it look like a star, right? Just kind of lining the edges a little until it starts to look. And I, I cannot draw a star. We figured that out right before this thing. It was very difficult to try is, to draw a star. The star is much prettier than a elephant. There we go. Okay, at least that's sort of a star, right? Would you guys agree? It's sort of a star. We're gonna blend it very softly because I don't want the shape to kind of disappear, right? Look at it blend with that blue just around the edges. It looks sort of like a star, like a cloud. Right? Don't want to overdo. You can make it, you can have it grow a little. Mark Anderson says, I can't believe that Desolate Oasis painting is still on your wall. I know, right? I'm sure someone will <laughs> check that out. Well, we, you know what? Thanks, Mark, because that reminds me, we're doing a 50% off sale uh, this week on all the paintings, like that Desolate Oasis painting. I can't even remember what it is, but some of these other ones in here are like 88 bucks. That includes free shipping to the U.S. Uh, you know, I just had one sell last night. 
was an 18 by 24 scene that we did on a Friday night freestyle. It was fantastic. And uh, that one's going to, I, I, I can't even remember where, where it's going. But yes, 50% off on all the canvas painting. So this one too, it's gonna be 50% off as soon as I get done and get it into the shop, right? All right, let's go, I think it's bright red enough. So let's throw some clouds in, make some big old giant clouds, right? And we're gonna grab a little bit of that bottom red section, but not a whole lot, because we don't want them to change too much. And again, it's not a, it's not a perfect flag, so it doesn't have to be straight, so right? We have two sales. Just a cloud. We have two sales right now. One's going to Renton, Washington. The other one's going to yeah, Washington, uh, Michigan. Washington. All right, and I'm trying to leave a little bit of darkness underneath, too, because again, it's not a perfect thing, and this white's gonna wanna grow. So we're gonna go like that. But again, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You'll be able to get this painting or any of the paintings that you see on the wall back here, all 50% off. Very light little swipes. And you see, once I go up and touch that red, I don't wanna come back down too much into the white because it's gonna start to go pink. We've had that happen before. Watch, it's gonna go a little bit into the blue just because it's a cloud. It's not a perfect thing. It's not a perfect flag. I say it. Doesn't matter if I say it or if I don't say it. There we go. Just dragging a little bit of color just to kind of accentuate the red and make it so it's not a perfect thing. Tyree John says go. you're awesome and you're unique. Love your work. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. There we go. A little bit of scrubs inside that red. Almost make it look like there's another cloud kind of further away, back off in the distance, right? All about what do you want yours to look like, right? It's not a perfect thing, so you don't have to make it perfect. All right, what if we wanted the clouds over here to be a bit bigger? Got to dump on a little bit more white in thickness, right? The, the thickness of the white is going to keep it brighter white. Just change up what your clouds look like. Go back in. Let's get a clean brush. Oh, God. Okay, right there. I think I just pulled something. <laughs> clean, dry brush. And again, not really trying to overmix it or go too pink. We want to have it blend with that white in there, and then you can go back and make it brighter. But I think that looks like a pretty cool, quote-unquote, stripe of a flag, right? Because that's all it is. It's not a perfect thing. It's not a perfect shape. It's an expression of a flag. A little bit more white up there, just to make sure that it stays bright and not, you know, didn't look like it's going to change on us. A little bit of the, just a little into the blue. Oh my, just a little. Smallest little bit. You can even drag some of that blue onto the underside. Just a little though. If you do too much, I'm telling you it's bad. For anyone curious, there is a link tree link going in the Facebook comments and the YouTube comments. That is a link to all of Josh's socials, including where you can buy the paintings. Uh, and obviously, if you wish to support the channel, you can do so, so via his Amazon wish list. It's 102 in Phoenix, Arizona. If that's our cloud, our, our thing, 102, my yeah. goodness. Let's start bringing in our, our ocean, kind of right down here at the base of our last red stripe, right? Not going to fill in everything. And look how bright it is on the black background because there's no underpainting. There's no undercolor to fill it, right? Just very lightly, I'm going to make it look like it just went off just a little, not a lot. Because again, it's not a perfect shape, it's not a perfect thing. How many times do I got to say it? It's a seascape, but it's going to resemble a little bit of a flag. Right? And in order to do that, we kind of got to drag the water into the blue a little bit. Just a touch, right? Now I want to have it where it's going on a downward angle like this since our wave is going to crash this way. Save some of that black area over there. That's going to really help. 80 degrees in, I in Idaho very lightly. Look at that. A little white stripe of a, of a seascape. Just pulling it straight sideways, letting it blend in a little bit all the way from the edge into the blue. Just a little though, because we're just, again, it's, a, it's an expressionist flag at seascape. It's not a perfect thing. Man, that's very cool though. What do you think, babe? It looks beautiful. Give me the truth though. It looks beautiful. I oh, tell you if it okay. sucked. She would tell me if it sucked. That's right. All right. Now we're going to want to pop our wave up over on this side. All right. So let's just, let's get a little bit of more white. This one's not going to take very long at all. Let's see. Hey, babe. Yeah. Did you tell them about the new things on YouTube? 
Oh yeah, we got brand, our YouTube has like a, a brand new look to it. So if you haven't seen it, let's come up. Go and check out the look, uh, the new YouTube look because London has gone and made all sorts of new thumbnails and made the channel look so much better. Oh, it's crazy. Thank you, honey, for that, by the way. So we're gonna take this guy and start to pull him over, right? Into that red. Just like that. Bam. Have it fall over into the into the red bit. Let's take that little section where we kind of messed up. Well, let's turn that into our the brightness, the transparency of the wave, right? As it starts to roll its way out, it's gonna grow. It's gonna turn into that red color. It's gonna start Captain to mix. Captain Mike Gerber is in the building. Hey, thanks for watching. Man, just like that, right? Very cool little bit of water coming down. And you can always extend it. Just make sure your your angles match, right? Your your drags, your swipes, they have to match. I try to bring mine sort of, you know, as you come around, they're a little bit more round, but as you come down here, you start dragging them to the corner. You know what I mean? You end up down here around the corner, and then your wave's gonna look real cool. All right, now let's take the back of the wave back here. We have to, we gotta do something. It may even have to grow a little bit because we forgot to do it in the beginning. Let's take a little bit of our blue, maybe a little bit of the white, mix that up. More blue than white though. I don't want it to be so super bright. But if we're gonna paint an ocean scene, we have to make it sort of look like an ocean scene. So just a little bit of darkness in there as our oncoming wave is crashing in, or the next one is gonna come in. A Little bit of white, which is good because we're on the white section, right? Just little differences is all we need. A Little bit underneath there, you know what I mean? It's gonna sit and, and spin. The ocean is never a straight line, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's take our big two-inch brush because it doesn't have any other colors on it. Stretch it out this way. We're going to have our next little bit of water coming in. Let's use a little bit of the black, though. I'm going to darken it up a little. A little bit of the black in with that blue right here. Mix it, make it all nasty. Put that little black line under there. I was just trying to remember what I was watching last night when I fell asleep. Which is quite funny that I fell asleep during it because I was watching the new Jeffrey Dahmer documentary. Oh, you love stuff like that. Yeah, I know. Put me right to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, don't want to have too much detail off in the distance. Letting our, our ocean kind of go off into the blue, right? There we go. Gotta work it. Now, our next little bit of dark line needs to come in maybe about here, go up, let's use the small edge of the knife, makes it easier, up on a little angle, how do you fall asleep to a down, show about right? Jeffrey Dahmer? Who knows? What does, what does that say about my mental wellness? That you just don't even care. <laughs> I'm like, oh, here we go, episode one, this is great, I already know what happens, and sleep. Yeah, <laughs> very lightly. Very lightly, right? Not really touching a whole lot. Let's continue that little black line around the back of the wave. Over to there with a little bit of white on top. Right? Now we've got our water coming in behind our other water. And then we hey. can always go back and play with that wave. Guys, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if you know anyone in Puerto Rico and there is uh, yep. there is some way you can send them a small amount of money, please, please, please send them whatever money you can. Uh, we, we have a friend in Puerto Rico. Um, I sent them some money yesterday. They have no electricity. Um, and so it makes it very difficult to communicate. So if you know of a way to get to their cash app or Venmo, or whatever it may be, please, 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 every little bit helps. Um, and obviously if it goes to somebody that you know, that makes a massive difference so that they can get food or be able to, you know, maybe pay someone to, you know, take them somewhere or get them somewhere safe. Yeah, um, definitely. Same thing applies. We have, we have fans and friends that live in uh, Nova Scotia, Camp Breton. Uh, I don't see them in the comments today. That makes me very sad. I know that the 
hurricane hit them Friday night. We were on the we were on a Facebook video call with them uh, Friday night. Um, and just just remember that you know the weather might be beautiful where you are, but not knowing whether or not when you wake up there's going to be a roof on your house. Yeah, right. Your roof could have blown off in the night. It's a very scary thing. Let's come up here. Really start to dab in our little bits of kind of oceany spray. Cover over that area, but leaving little differences, right? You gotta leave little things. You have to. It's the rule. Little dark line if you can. Just the smallest little change right there will really help when we go to highlight it. Really help a whole lot. Alright. Let's take a little bit more of that kind of reddish color and just see if we can't feed just a couple little lines back in there. Don't want to change the color of it too much, but I don't want it to be all, you know, it's, it's not a perfect thing again. So, you gotta have little differences, right? When we paint with Josh, we paint differences. It's not all just one flat thing. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, now we can come back on top of that, really splash some light onto it, and that'll be very neat. Up in here. My dad's watching. Hey, Dad. Hi, Daddy. Thanks for tuning in, Dad. Painting the Puerto Rican flag. In honor of the destruction that they have dealt with, uh, with Hurricane Fiona. And the way that it is moving its way swiftly up the East Coast uh, into Nova Scotia, Camp Breton. Yeah, places where our fans are. All right, we're gonna get a little liquid white on our brush. Start to really just mix it up like that and then just kind of drag it out however you want your wave to start rolling, right? Come on out. And that'll Come be the edge. <laughs> that'll be the edge right there. Now you can take your little fan brush or your bigger fan brush, whatever fan brush you have. Get a didn't little you, bit of... Didn't you get new fan brushes recently? I did from Annette Babcock. Thank you hey, so much. Hey. A little bit of liquid white with our titanium white. And then it's going to stick. We're going to come up here. We're going to start popping in over the top of the shadows. And every little dab that you put on there. All these little differences. Just like that. It starts to look like water right? as it's falling down. Go back in, get a few little bits more. You can brighten up areas, change it, just bouncing it around. Try not to cover every single thing, though. If you covered every bit of your shadow, what was the point of putting it in there? All right, little dab on this guy. There we go. Just to mix, help mix him in, help flow with the wave. And then start to dab on it just a little bit. Bam! Just like that. Very cool little thing. Again, if we can keep that little line of darkness kind of underneath our white line, it's really going to help make your wave look like it's about to roll over. Louisa Baldwin says, question, my fan brush bristles always split apart and I can't get that chiseled edge. Why yeah. is that? Uh, well, they start to get um, worn out. It's just time to replace your brush. That's all. A lot of times, the more we beat it, the more we use it, the more little bristles fall out, the shorter it becomes and it starts to split apart. The more you beat the devil out of it, the more you need a new one. <laughs> so we're just going to grab a little bit of our white down here. And we want it to stay, let's actually mix it with a few swipes of red, because I want it to stay red down on this reddish section. But we're going to come in, we're going to grab our, right where we think our water is starting to drag its way up the wave, right? And then we're going to come out here, and it's going to get further and further and further and further away from that straight up drag, right? You want to leave it down like that, because they're dra this part has, this side of the ocean hasn't started to roll over yet like these guys have up here where they're really starting to turn upwards. You know what I mean? All depends on your angles of your little highlights. It's really all it depends on. Now all that foam is about to roll over on top. Really cool. There we go. Just like that. And leave this area dark. Leave it like that. Ooh, it's shadowy. It's spooky. What's happening over there, right? What is going on over there? Maybe maybe not appropriate for today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's mystical. It's a mystery what's going on. Take our uh, liquid white, just on the back of the knife, just kind of roll it along the edge. 
it'll start to mix in, right? See if you can get a, a, enough of it on there where you can have it kind of drop off just like water. Right, maybe a couple of these guys, Julie, they started to... Julie Strupp is here, don't you have something to say to Julie? Julie, thank you for that brush. We said thank you earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to use it today on this seascape, but I will definitely use it. Thank you for that from the Amazon wish list. I really appreciate it. Kathy Swafford's here from Illinois. Illinois. Look at these things as they start to climb up. You start to get cool little bits of foam, right? You start to shape your wave. What's your wave look like? Mine looks like that. What does yours look like? All right, take a little bit of this. We're going to try to leave a fair amount of the liquid white and everything right on the edge so we can come in with the brush and create our sandy sheening beach. I do want to let you guys know we can't reach everybody, so if you can share, copy, paste, link, comment, uh, it does do massive for engagement for the channel. So oh, look hopefully at that. we can get it out to more people and more people can see this to know that there are people in uh, the, I, I don't even know how to word it, the mainland supporting the territories of the United States. Um, I, I know obviously they don't have electricity at the moment, um, but it's very important that if you know somebody who is affected or you know somebody who uh, is from Puerto Rico, then you uh, you let them know that there are people in Vegas who who care about them massively. Um, yeah, I can't spend every week crying. Yes, I you do something else. You've been doing a lot of crying recently. All right, let's take a lot of. We have to do something else, she said. I know it's my idea, but we have to do something else. Yeah, right. So next weekend, just to finish off the teary situation, we will do the Ukrainian flag. <laughs> oh. There we go. Gotta make them look right. If you put it in there and it doesn't look right right away, you can go back and fix it. Remember that the water really wants to roll over. And you can always go back and hide stuff just like that. Right? I like getting a little bit of those dark lines in there too, because not every little bit gets lit up. Right? So you have those little darknesses in there. Little things. Not everywhere. Not everywhere. Very lightly. <laughs> and again, those little angles are everything. Mark, Mark Anderson says, a nice family-friendly episode this week. No sports bra talk. Ah. That's fine, Mark. I thought you were here for the sports bra talk. But if you're not, then that's fine. No, we are uh, we are calmer than usual based on the um, the sadness of what is happening yeah, in the world. Yeah, it's serious, serious kind of show today. Sometimes it can't be all jovial. Right. Plus, we got all kind of comments about how oh my god, is singing again? I can't. I just can't focus. I I'm I'm lost. I you've lost me as a fan. That's it. I've just gone. Okay. See you later, lady. Little things, right? Man, all kind of dragging back to the center. Don't go too far. This guy got a little bit too bright up here. So what I'm gonna do with him. Thank you, Tyree. Have Swipe a wonderful away. day. Thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Who was that? Tyree Jones. Tyree, you? thank you. All right, just so lightly. Right? I don't want to do too much because I'll lose all of that deep, dark red color, which we're going to do, uh, which we have in there. We put it in there on purpose. Let's take some of these little guys. Just little dark lines every so often. Just a little bit. A little bit of paint. All you need. Actually, all you need is love. All you need is painting with Josh. Painting's all you need. Do, 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 do. All right. Again, don't want to mess around too much with that deepest, darkest area. That's our sweet spot down there. That's what gives the wave depth going back, right? So come up here. Mark Anderson says, took me days to get that song out of my head. <laughs> the one, our, our song? The, the, pain, the Painting Boy song? I must, I'm going to assume unless he's thinking of another song. That That's funny. Cool. I don't know how the... Uh, it's like the white section. 
And the middle got all Lauren bruised. Lauren Hartley though. says, love it. Thank you. I need to make it a bit more white though back here. If you are enjoying this painting and you'd like to see more flag paintings and uh, please, please drop a comment, let us know. Um, there's obviously thousands of flags um, and we want to make sure that everybody feels uh, represented. So True. There we go. Please, please let That's us a know. bit better. Sometimes you can lose all of your intended color just by a couple too many swipes that's all it really is that looks a lot more white now right it does i like the blue stripe in there you know there's not a blue stripe in the real flag guess what we're not painting a real flag we're painting an ocean scene so that helps with the water in my mind being an ocean scene like that if you like the flag if you like us being a bit more energetic uh, please let us know in the comments because we this show is entirely for you and if you're not enjoying it because we're a little bit more mute than normal um, yeah, let us know yeah, let us know let us know in the comments well again this is a serious situation it's I know, not our normal just playing around jokey selves this is a serious deal I know but it's never bad to get fan feedback oh definitely not let the knife kind of pull up Take a little bit of that foaminess. Our foam sits on top of the water. You know what I mean? And it's got to be pulled in the right direction to have it look like it's foam. Maybe grab these guys just lightly. Pull them up. That, that white section is sitting on top of all the dark section. You have to remember that. You got to remember that bit. One more little white line right here. Which one did it look like needed a white line? This one? Just change it up just a little bit, right? Little things, there's shadows coming from the top of the wave, there's things on the bottom of the wave, it's a see-through thing, that's why it's all transparent. Very cool. Get one more little, a little bit of dab kind of covering over different places. And then if you have a brush, remember you were talking about those brushes that the bristles split apart? Those make the coolest little droplets of water that are about to come down and hit, right? Someone's going to look at that and go, "Ooh, that's a cool little thing. Mark Anderson says, loving the flag seascape paintings. Thank you. We love the feedback. So tell us what you guys like, what you don't like, so we know what to do and what not to do. You know, Mark Anderson is such a true loyal fan. Oh, he's amazing. He came up with that meme. We didn't yeah. even talk about the meme. We didn't talk about it. <laughs> Paint with Josh is now a meme. It said, uh, find someone who looks at you like Paint with, or like Josh looks at London. And I was like, ooh. I think it was cool. Man, this one came out really good, guys. What time is it? I knew it would be fast. I knew it would be fast. What I really need is more liner brushes. These line, Do your guys' liner brushes split apart? Because mine seem to split apart and they don't act like a liner brush anymore. And it's, like, it's irritating sometimes. Put our little Siggy down here. Just like that. Damn, right there. Bingo, bango, guys. Gotta add the fam. Where are we gonna put the fam? We gotta do them in white so they'll stand out, right? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's nice. Okay. <clears throat> red, white, red, white, red. Middle red. Huh? Top red. Yeah. Red. Bottom red. What? For the buds. Oh, wait, what? You said, where did the fam go? I said, you said top red, middle red. I said top red. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> I'm lost. I am lost. A little bit of liquid white. Maybe this uh, titanium white will help my brush stay together and be sharp. All right, let's go, uh, we're about up here. Yeah, perfect. Right about there. Like that? Beautiful. Ooh, I like it. All right, well, man, it's funny. I, I love how it kind of comes into the blue a little bit. You can kind of see the ocean, get a little bit of, uh, that darkness still left in there. Take some of that darker blue. 
See if I can't work it back in just a little bit. Retain that shape by filling it in with that darker blue. And it'll look more like that uh, triangle here that we're supposed to create. Here we go. Again, it's not a perfect thing, so we'll mess it up just a little bit. That look better? Yeah? Is that what you were looking at before? Yeah, on the top. And the top? You don't like the white cloud sticking in a little bit? No, the white cloud's perfect. It's oh. the dark line in between the blue and the red. Oh, oh, okay. So let's fill it in. Maybe blend it over into the red a bit. There we go. And like that? Yeah. There we go. Coming in on our straight line-ish. Better? Amazing. Sweet. Right on. <laughs> Let me get a little bit darker blue up there. It looks kind of black. We leave the black in so it gives it depth. You know what I mean? Like uh, on the one over here, especially these deeper, darker areas of the American flag seascape we did, I thought it helps give it depth. But a lot of times if you're missing or if it looks like there's a little black line there, then uh, it may give you the wrong impression. Yep. Beautiful. Like that. Yes. Sweet. I like it. I mean, it didn't go all the way down to the corner over here like it should. But again, it's not a perfect thing. It's a, it's a seascape. We're painting a Sunday seascape. Seascape. So, how many people we got watching, babe? Was this a good show? Was it a low watching show? Low. No, it's a good comments? show. We have eleven people over on YouTube. We got forty-seven right now watching on. Hey guys, YouTube. thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I really hope if you know somebody in Puerto Rico, or even if you just want to practice your waves and, and little things like that, give this one a shot, because it's fun, and it's easy, and it's quick. You know what I mean? There's not many stripes. You don't have to do too many things. Uh, you know, you can be as detailed as you want in your wave. It doesn't have to be super detailed, but don't lose all the red, right? The red has to stay. The more white you put on the red, the more pink it goes, right? Jessica Same works, thing down first here. first time. Hey, first time watcher, what do you think? So, we did a very cool little seascape. Just like a, like the Puerto Rican flag with my terrible little cloud star. I'm not the best drawer of stars, but I think it's, I think it serves its purpose. It is totally, totally serving a purpose. Excellent. All right, are we zoomed out? Can we zoom back out? Yeah. Since we're about to finish the old show. Let's see. So next week, guys, on Friday, we're going to be doing that really big uh, coffin lid. London made the most excellent little um, thumbnail for that. So I can't wait to, to film that, and then we can put the thumbnail up, and it's going to be the start of our Halloween paintings. So September 30th starts, is the, September 30th marks the start of Josh's Halloween paintings for the year. It so. also... Also is the deadline for the London voiceover video. True, we're going to be announcing the winner during that show. So if you haven't heard of the London voiceover video, it's on my YouTube page. Go find it and uh, listen to London describe what I'm doing with triangular brushes and different things and see what you come up with. And the person who does the best is going to get a $100 gift card to the Paint With Josh store. And the person who does the least is going to get a, uh, the least, the worst, is going to get a print sent to them of the painting that they should have painted, right? My painting that they should have painted. So it's a, it's a cool gift if you win, it's a cool gift if you lose, or if you're the worst. So let's see, and you can do it in paint or markers or pencil makeup. or crayon or makeup or, <laughs> or spray paint or whatever. It doesn't have to be Bob Ross, Cocktail wet sticks. on wet. <laughs> if you could get paint on a brush or paint on a canvas or a piece of wood or whatever it is, it doesn't have to be the exact same. And the point of it is to have fun because you don't know Rhea, you're going to have to kind of figure out, what is she talking about? Triangular brush. Like, <laughs> this one doesn't look like a triangle. She must be talking about the fan brush, and then we'll go use that. And then you just try to do what she's explaining, and it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, we've had, like, uh, like maybe eight, eight people send in their versions of it. So try it. Send in your version. You never know. You could either be the worst and, uh, and win a free print, or you could... Be the best and, and get $100 off of a painting in the in the store. So, win-win in my book. 
want to say thank you to Cheryl for her uh, remaining a member on the channel. It did just come up with member for two months. Hey! So I want to say thank you for that. Always thank you. Thank you for the brushes. Thank you for the Amazon wish list stuff, guys. There's shoes in there. There's We need to put a new stool uh, no, in I there. I will buy the stool. Oh, okay. I will buy you the stool. It needs to be a drum stool so I can like... <laughs> uh, all sorts of things. You know what we need is a little dark line. Our water looks like it's... There's not enough depth. Let's take our, our dark and our crimson just underneath that. There we go. Underneath our white line, just let it fall off the back of the knife. Get that little bit of darkness under there. It just helps raise up the level of the water. If right. you are interested in watching Perfect. Josh and not listening to my voice, you can do that by purchasing the membership on YouTube and or Facebook. True, there are member only videos on YouTube that do not include my voice. Unless you have a thing for British accents, and in which case, tune in every Friday and Sunday. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, please remember to take your medications, drink water, Definitely. and try to stay away from the media because it's poisonous. Yeah, and don't watch anyone else on YouTube except for me. I'm the only tutorialist you need to follow, right? <laughs> All right, so until we see you guys again next time, this was a nice, quick, easy one. Uh, just because Fridays went so long, my goodness. It's just every time I look, I keep seeing a couple more things that could be brighter. But we are live. Little things, right? We are live Friday night, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are located in Vegas. Um, so whether you're on the East Coast, then it'd be 10 p.m. Whether you're in the Midwest, then it'd be 9 p.m. All the way through until Australia, where it's, you know, lunchtime on Saturday morning. Uh, we also go live Sunday morning at 10 a.m. That was today. Sometimes the show is 45 minutes, sometimes the show is an hour, sometimes the it's show two is hours. two hours. <laughs> uh, it all depends what Josh Never is feeling at that time. Never if you know. need to send a message, if you need to send a piece of artwork, if you need to submit, you can send it through Josh's Facebook. Uh, it's in the link tree. Uh, you can also find that on his Facebook page as well. He's going to drop a post today with his link tree in it. So Actually, the, can see that. I did that. The link tree is in the description of this video. If you scroll all the way down Perfect. in the description, I put it right there. Even better. Um, so that I, way you can find the store, the YouTube channel, the, the Amazon wish list, the Amazon store where you can buy your supplies, all sorts of stuff right in that link tree link. Everything. And please, 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 when the video's over, come back, leave a comment. Let yeah, us know you are watching. The more we see your name, the more we'll shout you out on the videos because we know that you sh you show up for us, and that's what's really important. Yeah, and the more it helps after the video, right? During the live video, it helps push it while we're live, but then after the live video is over and you rewatch it again or you go back and watch it, leave a comment then. If the video is not live, I'll be able to respond to your comment. If I don't write back to you, then I, I, it was on a live thing, and I can't respond to the live comments for some reason, whatever reason it is they don't allow you to, to go back and respond they're only in the live so if you want a response to a question or if you want to say thanks and have me actually see it then leave a comment when the video is over and uh, you go back and watch it again leave a comment on everything you see it doesn't matter if it's a paint with josh video or this video or that video comments really help get the word out to the other people something to do with the algorithm and how it sends it out. So it's a slave to the yeah. algorithm. Leave comments on anything you see, especially Paint with Josh videos. And don't watch anyone else, right? Why are you watching anyone else? If, You've already found the best one right here. If so. you are submitting your submissions for the London voiceover, please, 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 please send them in a private message to Josh or myself. Yeah, we don't want to put uh, yours or give anybody an idea. Right? Yeah, we don't want to spoil it for anyone else. So Plus, they could steal your idea and you know, copy your painting. And then maybe they did it a little bit better than you. You don't want to tip anybody off. It'll be like sure. telephone at that point. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We um, do. Every single minute that you guys stay and hang out with us, we really do appreciate it. We do. And we're, you know, we feel for the people in Puerto Rico and the people in Canada that got hit and it's storm season, it's gonna be bad. Um, you know, everybody just be careful. Be careful out there. And we want to see you come back. We want to see you back in the studio with us, back in the comments. And, uh, you know, we love you. Without you guys, there is no me or, or us. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be sat up here doing this if nobody was watching, right? Well, I'd, so, still, be, I'd still be sitting in the chair. London would be here with me, but that's about it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'd still be sitting in the chair. Like, I sit in the chair. Regardless. Oh, Whether okay. Whether it's this chair or the couch downstairs, 
or to go or to car in the in the. You make it seem like you're car. like you're unmobile. No, no, no. I just, <laughs> I just sit in the chair. I like the chairs. I like to sit. London likes to sit so. and uh, and listen to my voice, right? Oh. Sorry. That's, exactly, that's exactly what I'm after. All right, guys. Well, until we see you guys again next time, thank you for hanging out with us. All the comments. Thank you for the stars. You can send stars even after the videos are over and you rewatch them again. You can send stars if I do something funny that you like or something you know, that you never saw before, send the stars. We love it. Leave comments. You can like it. You can share it for free. You can leave a comment for free. It only takes a second of your time, right? So uh, always leave comments after the videos are over. We love you guys. Support the store. Support. You can get your own hats and apparel and pillows, the paintings, the prints, all sorts of stuff. Paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And we love you guys. Don't want to leave you, uh, well, we do want to leave you wanting for more. So uh, until we see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. And Oh, get him out of here, babe. Oh. Ba boom. <laughs> London goes like this too. Pow in the background. Nobody can see though. Ba boom. <laughs> oh, this one came out great. I love it. It's fantastic. I love it too. It means a little bit. I can tell.